Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure, as of the recording of this, is on St. Patrick's Day. I am wearing an appropriate t-shirt, not because Mickey is placed on the front, but because it is green. Now, back when I was in my youth, I was told that if you did not wear anything green, someone would pinch you. Now, in my adulthood, I have not heard any of that anymore. It might be frowned upon even before all the, you know, keeping your distance away from folks. You don't want to, you don't want to walk up current day and say, oh, you know what, you're not wearing green. Let me give it a little, little, little pinch there on the shoulder blade. Would not be good. I am going to wander, well, in my car, which, side note, has been fixed. The wheel bearing has been corrected. I will show you an example as I cruise up the road here. You can, you can tell me what you think as far as the sound goes. Also, should be noted, that they are in the process of putting the water tower back up. You can see that big crane right there. Now, I do not have the facts on this, but I don't know if there really is water in said water tower, celebration water tower. See that? I think it might just be for looks. It might just be a prop. Nonetheless, there is a rather large crane back there. I believe today might be the day St. Patty's Day, 2020, where the water tower facade celebration goes back up. I'm inviting you to join me as I look for some treats. St. Patty's Day treats. I'm talking some fast food establishments, coffee shops, you know, anything that has something that is a delectable either for, you know, a beverage or a little snack that has to do with today. And I have to run some errands. Hence why I'm going out and about. And I figured I'd do this while I am doing some responsibility items. Thanks as well. All right. This gentleman that just drove by on the bike, he is also enamored with the fact that this might not be a real water tower. But this crane is going to lift. Oh, they got the, they're already like ready over here. Look, they've already, they already got the, they already got the folks there. They're getting ready to pull this thing up. Maybe I'll wait around for a moment. Or, you know, I'll come back by in a minute. Join me. The long intro. Join me, shall you? Now, I'm not going very quickly, kind of just idling through here, so you might not. See if you can hear. Yeah, smooth. Also, the co they were cones that they're using today are also green. Look at that. They're getting, the, they're getting all the stuff over there ready. The ropes. This is going to happen soon. And right across the street, directly across. Good thing that good thing the pinching rule is not in effect. Even though this lobster is not wearing green. If he saw someone not, he could provide quite a pinch. Yeah, definitely could. You definitely could, lobster. And from way over here at this angle, you can see that they are hoisting up that little bucket there. They're gonna place a steel beam across and they have the netting, the clamps, directly above where the water tower is. So it's gonna go up soon. It's happening. A few vehicles in the drive-through lane at Krispy Kreme Donuts. Get myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage, but also a donut that will have a hue of green coloring. The taste will be the same, the glazed for St. Patty's Day have changed just a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try one or two, maybe even get another specialty item. Of course, I'm stating all this without, without actually walking in and seeing if there's anything inside that is extra special. It appears to be there's quite a few people inside from this perspective, I can see. Yeah, the light's on, hot and fresh. Walk around this perimeter. Go in from the other way and see what they got. And nothing up here that says, gotta go in and look. The majority of folks inside were getting dozens of donuts, and I thought about doing that. However, 
since I'm going to be going to quite a few establishments throughout the course of the day, it didn't really make a didn't really it doesn't really make a lot of sense for my stomach to have so much. So I got three little reasons to smile. I only got two donuts. The third reason would be the coffee that I have kind of stanchioned in there. I got the regular warm glazed and something called a lucky unicorn. That is a lucky unicorn right there with a little cream filling. Donuts and coffee since 1937. The St. Patty's edition. Question is, which one of these should I go with first? Probably go with uh, the textbook glazed. See if there's any difference in, in the taste because it has the coloring. Oh yeah. No taste difference, but oh man. Even the inside. Mm. That is a good donut. Dang good donut. I haven't had a donut in quite a while. Woo! Oh man, no way I could do a dozen of these. Well, I could, but it'd be uncomfortable. This state's donut's best friend. I concur. Ooh, toasty. That is a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Look at this. Look at this beauty right here. The lucky, well, not so lucky because I'm about to consume it. The lucky unicorn. A little, a little nose. The unicorn nose. All right, unicorn. You're mine. Okay. Sweet. That's good. Very sugary. It's really good. This is really good. I thought getting a couple a couple dozen would be stocking up. These guys are gonna get a few bushels. They're gonna scoop up some donuts. They came prepared. While I'm here, might as well go directly across the street to Dunkin' Donuts. See what they have inside here. They might have they might have something as well. Yeah, I'll just get I'll just get one donut. Just one donut. I'll look around inside. If I have something I like, I'll get one just one donut. For the day that's themed they did have a very specific st patty's donut but the person in front of me got the last one and i asked if they were going to prepare any more they didn't really know they said it might be a little bit later there were none immediately coming out of the oven so i got one that was in close proximity but it did not it was not specifically labeled as such this is a boston cream with the swirl the green swirl on there this will have to do this is for the day, but it did, didn't have the little, the little, the, the clover on it. It was one that had a clover that I wanted, and I don't, I don't know when they were coming out. So I just said, let's just go ahead and get this one. Boston cream style. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a tasty treat. Mm. No more donuts after this. This is it. So good though. I didn't get a coffee because I got the Krispy Kreme coffee. Krispy Kreme is right there. Well, no, right there. Right there. All right, moving on. Riding much smoother. No noise, no road noise, no bumpiness. Just 
smooth sailing. Yeah, seems to, everything seems to be working good now. In view of Orange World, a gigantic orange that sells citrus is Cracker Barrel, old country store, which I am very fond of. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And during this particular day, they have a menu item, corned beef and cabbage for this week only. And I was very excited about getting that. However, they are telling me that it does it's not happening today. They do not have it on the menu. And none of them, there's another one about a mile up the way, Pass World Drive, 0192. They don't have it either. So sad trombone moment here at Cracker Barrel. I was gonna add that into my repertoire. But not just sweets, so I was gonna have a, a meal for St. Patty's Day, but they're not doing it this year. Dang. Okay, gotta find something else. There is one other place I know will not fail me. And I've never had a shamrock shake. I've always heard about it, but I cannot think at any point in my lifetime as much as I should have gotten a shake. Hear, hear that sound? That's right, there is no sound. The tires are fixed. I love it. That's a truck. McDonald's. I'm gonna go through the drive-thru. Place my order. Time to shamrock. Oh, they also have a limited time Oreo Shamrock McFlurry. I can't I can't do anymore. I, I've already eaten those donuts. I can feel the sugar going through my bones. I think I'm just gonna go with one option. I'm just gonna go with uh, the old school limited time shamrock shake for 319. Just waiting my turn. Got it! Accomplished! This will be my the first sip ever. By the way, look over here. The water tower is back. Shamrock shake. Wearing my appropriate shirt. And the water tower off in the distance there. It's a nice little photo opportunity. Shamrock shake. Yeah. Give it a give it a. Oh dang. Okay. I always, when I go get ice cream, there's two different flavors. I like kind of your standard vanilla, but I also like mint chocolate chip. This is very reminiscent of a mint, minty. There's a bug on my arm. Oh, I've had a lot of sugar consumption today. Look. So that, that goes against, that goes according to my statement about how I don't think there's any water technically in that. Now between these stops, I got a couple bottles of water at the store. Chug them down. Because when I have it, that much sugar flowing through my bones, through the, the, the stream, bloodstream, it really, it really uh, you need some you need some H2O. The wind is blowing my hair, like blowing in the wind. That is really good. Woo. I got the small. I believe it was $2.99, the price on the menu. Stated it was three dollars and something, but that was for the regular size. Take a look. Oh, they got a drone up there. Someone is filming it on their drone around. Okay, the Celebration Water Tower is back in business. Short and sweet, that's gonna do it for today. Wish I could have done Cracker Barrel, it is windy. Wish I could have done Cracker Barrel, but it was not in the cards for this year. Maybe next year, perhaps. But I got the Shamrock Shake. I went to Dunkin' Donuts, got a, a donut, even though they did, not, they did not have the luck of the eye. Oh, what was that? It almost sounded like there was a fender bender of some sort, but I think it was someone with a radio playing. Did not have the luck of the, they were out of the luck of the Irish donut, but I did get a swirly Boston cream and then Krispy Kreme. Woo, speaking of cream, Krispy Kreme. Polishing it off with this. A tasty, delicious, as the sirens go by. Tasty, delicious. Are they both in the, in there? There we go. Yeah. Tasty and delicious. I almost forgot what this is called. 
is a Shamrock Shake. I could have got the Oreo Blizzard Shake, but that would not would not be healthy. Not that this is healthy at all. There's nothing I ate today was healthy other than a couple bottles of water. Maybe it was a fender bender. There is a Starbucks across the way there. And I believe that they have a couple items that are for today as well. But I can't do it all. Ooh, I am only one person with only a certain amount of calorie intake that is allowed for me to, to stay substantially, you know, going forward. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop. I should put my hat on. The sun is permeating. If you enjoyed this particular episode, on this, the recording of it, St. Patty's Day, 2021. Give it a big straw up, or a big thumbs up. It lets me know if you care. Some of the errands I had to get, I'm still getting furniture for my place in celebration. So I had to get, last night I got a television, I got a Blu-ray player, and today I got a TV stand, a mat, for a, you know, a welcome mat to go into the front. Oh, there's a dragonfly, right up there. Dragonfly. It's coming together nicely, my place. It's coming together nicely out here. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. So that's what I was out and about doing. Yeah, some stuff I don't film, because it's kind of boring and monotonous and just everyday stuff that really, you know, documenting it isn't that eventful. That dragonfly really wants to be in the video. You want to end it, dragonfly? You want to end the... Okay, you're flying off. I was going to see if you wanted to end the vlog. All right, I'll end it myself. Boy, this is really getting into the system right now. I'm going to polish it off, but that's a, that's a toughie. There's a lot of dragonflies up here. We witnessed history. All the dragonflies also were here to see. This just did. Breaking news. This is not a real water tower. Spoiler alert. Well, unless they're gonna fill it with water after I leave. I don't think it is anyway. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. That's a long outro. Long intro, long outro. Ooh, get a brain, brain, brain freeze. Mm. See if you put your thumb up against the top of your roof, it helps. Or you could just chug the rest of it and just, just power through. The vlog is over. That's good, right?